Proksh Anubhuti and the shloka is 121. So first we will go word by word. Huh? Then I'll go into depth of it. It says, Visheshu Vatmatam Drashtva Manastiti Manjanam Pratyaharaha Savigyeyu Abhyasniyu Mumukshrabihi. Shankar is saying, in all the objects, see your own Atma. Manastiti Madjanam. And let your mind be established in the Supreme Consciousness. And this would be the Pratyahara of a Vedantist. When you don't have the division of subject and object, where you see every object, every name and form, every nam and roop as an illusion, and only one astitva, only one existence, which in one word I would say the Brahm, the Brahm existence is everywhere, and all objects, including your body, are just in projection of the illusion, nothing more than that. Now, where would your mind go? See, there are two things. One is the subject, aham, and the other is object, that is idam. Idam means the other. Idam, the other. Aham, the self. When I see self, and then obviously I will see the others also. The division is there. It's me and mine. It's me and my world. It's me and the whole universe. Two things. Now, either you get in love for relationship with the universe or you begin to run away from this world. But from the Vedantic perspective, including your own body, this whole universe is nothing more than projection of your mind. It is just maya. It is just an illusion. So seeing the self in all objects... Let your mind be rested in the true being. And this is what the Pratyahara is. Sabigyeyo abhyasaniyo. And the one who wishes to uh, seek the moksha, mumuksha bihi, the one who is seeker of liberation should always practice this only. Seeing every, every particle of this universe as me, as a self, Aham Brahmasmi, I am Brahma, the all-pervasive existence. Hence, nothing is different from me. This me is theirs. In Asti, Asti means whatsoever exists is existing because of Brahm. And whatever name and form you are seeing is just the projection of your mind, is the illusion which has been created by your own mind. And seeing oneself in all objects, your mind will rest in your own true being. And this would be the Pratyahara of a Vedantist. I am giving, although the Aparokshan Bhuti is just talking about the Vedantic aspect of Pratyahara, but because this Pratyahara word is a word of the Raj Yoga, hence I had to explain what's the difference in between the Pratyahara of Raj Yoga and the Pratyahara of Vedanta. When we see this existence like we divide it, like me and mine, now the tussle is there. You might love something and you might hate something. You might be in relationship with something and you might not want to be in relationship with that object or person or, you know, whatever. But once you see the existence of... Uh, Brahma, the absolute existence and everything else which is being seen, meaning your eyes and mind and intellect and whatever is being seen, 
all the objects of the world. Actually, there is no difference over there. There is no duality over there. So there is no tussle over there. Like a small wave in the ocean or a big wave in the ocean or a small bubble in the ocean or a very big bubble in the ocean or small foam in the ocean or a very big foam on the surface of the water is all these shapes and forms are actually water. So we don't have to struggle that, okay, this drop is water and that drop is not water, this foam is water and that is not, this wave is because it is too small, can't be water and this is a very big wave, hence it is water. No, no, no. The names and forms doesn't matter, all names which you have given and all the forms which you are seeing in the ocean are ocean, are water. Sadi Shankracharya is establishing Advaita in between the object and the subject, in between the mind and the world. And it's saying this mind and world both are one, just a projection, just an illusion, just a maya. And the absolute existence of Brahma is only there. And one who sees this one existence present, what will happen to the mind? Where will it go? Where can it go? Nowhere. So how difficult it would be for the mind now to be quiet. But once this understanding, experiential understanding comes, I am the universe. Where will the mind go? What effort does this mind require to, to quieten up? There is no duality left, hence there is no struggle left. And Adi Shankar says in Aparoksha Anabhuti, this is the Pratyahara which is practiced by the Vedantis. So if you wish liberation, Mumuksha Bihi, if you wish liberation, liberation from none other than but your own mind, from your own Ajnana, the darkness of the mind, if you wish the liberation, then one should practice this only. Seeing everything, including your mind, senses, intellect, this one unit and all the units of the universe as an illusion. So seeing self in all objects, when the mind rests into the self, is called the Pratyahara of Vedanta. And this is what Adi Shankar has given us, the Advait principle, where there is not presence of any two existences, but there is just one existence, which can't even be called one, hence we have to say non-dual, no duality. And for that one word in Sanskrit becomes Advait. So seeing and understanding this Advait, the mind is automatically going to be in a very deep quietude. And this is what the Pratyahara of Vedanta is. <laughs>